In this video, we're going to focus on how we can connect these lines here. And this was based on a previous video where we created it, but it was not pixel perfect. And now I managed to create pixel perfect that even if we move and let's reduce the size of the chart, as you can see here, even as we move along, it will stay nicely attached to it and it will not overlap or reduce in size and you can see here it looks absolutely phenomenal and works perfect so let's start to look how we can fix this tiny issue here so let's start to look how to customize the tick labels in the radar chart and this is part two that's very important so if you haven't watched part one watch part one first because the issue was related to our not pixel perfect white space so we had to get and solve this white space to do this I had to get the center or at least I had to figure out what is the exact length of this and is our length that we have here uh, sticking or uh, longer than what I was expecting and what I mean by that is you will see visually what I'm going to do and then from there on we can easily calculate that so let's scroll down here and we're going in here in this area here we're going to draw a physical line from this point all the way here and this is just in our plugin we created the center label plugin so i'm going to say here ctx.stroke style and the stroke style will be equal to this color here and why stroke because stroke means line or if you think about canvas a canvas you have a paintbrush and when you make a paintbrush stroke or a line with your paintbrush we call it a paintbrush stroke which means a line with your paintbrush so Next, what I want to do is I want to get the ctx.move tool to start creating the intention of drawing. So what I need here is basically x and y coordinates. Luckily, we already know this part here from the previous video that is the exact center. So what I'm going to do is we're going to just copy this and put down in here. So once we did that, I'm going to say ctx.line tool, which is basically this is the starting point and this is where the line is moving towards. So what we're going to do here is the following. I want to go from this point all the way top here. So we don't know yet the top here, or at least we don't have the data of the top here yet because we don't have the chart area. But if I scroll down, you remember here somewhere we have the scale top. We can probably grab the top here as well. So we can say here, and uh, this will be very important is we need to have the scale dot top. Uh, how do we get that? Well, let's get the chart area for this. I'm going to just say chart area, which is basically the area within the canvas that the chart is in. So that is basically excluding this part of the legend and just the, the specific part of the canvas, but not the entire canvas. That's very important. Chart area is like a div within a bigger div. That's it. That's how you can see it. So what we want to do here, chart area, I just want to grab the top here. And if you don't understand this one, I have a video, understanding chart area in chart.js, it's in the description box. So what I will do here is I would still get the center of the X. Basically, I want to go from here and draw a line all the way to here or to wherever it is. So we can see the exact length of this or height of this uh, line. So then here we just indicate top. Once we did that, I'm going to say ctx dot stroke to indicate to draw the line save this refresh and now you can see and this is probably the reason why there was a big struggle with our pixel perfect matter is because it moves up far more higher than what i would expect because we want to have it like this point here or somewhere in here so to look for the answer of this all we need to know is basically how many pixels do we need to shave off to remove this area here where there is the text and after some calculation and testing you will notice that it's approximately about 30 pixels so let's do your 20 we can do 20 if you do 20 first if we do plus 20 you can see it will reduce here and if we reduce a little bit more uh, 25 save that's it but you can see here it should be just this so it's somewhere here on the good so that is, in my estimation, about 30 pixels. And that's quite decent. So you can see here that looks quite nice. This here, once we know this number, all we have to do is we have to scroll down here and solve the number in 
here. So what is the number here? Remember here the top scale. And this to top scale is just basically the top exactly what we have here. It's exactly the identical value. However, what we need to do here is we need to say here now, this top scale, we need to add up plus 30 pixels. If I save that, refresh, you can see here now these lines are well connected. And then if I start to move our item, you will notice that this here maintains its position and it's always attached to the outer layer here or the inner layer here. So that is absolutely perfect. And there are no loose pixels as far as I can see. So there, there you go. And that's basically the final item here. This visual here was very helpful for us. So let's remove that, save, refresh. And there we are. Now we have it fully functional and working. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to have clickable scales here, in that case, I'm going to recommend you this specific video here on how to make the scale clickable in the radar chart, where you can click on these items here nicely.